All right, finally, someone has taken my advice. Finally, someone has taken my advice and forked Crocs Farmer. If you want to create a new miner project and not baked beans. So, the good news is, a lot of good news, I guess, is one, this is a Crocs Farmer fork, obviously. And number two, it's Gold Grinder. I remember a while ago, it's been a couple months now, I did, I think it was B&B Gold Grinder. So it's nice to see that these devs are still around. In fact, if I click their Twitter, it should take me to the, yeah, it takes me to the original Gold Grinder. I assume this was the gold, original Gold Grinder uh, thingy. So, uh, so from what I can tell, this has already launched. Uh, it's obviously not nearly as big as BUSD Crops Farmer, which still has, I think, let's see, that's BNB. So I think the subdomain is BUSD. It's not as big as Crops Farmer, yeah, which is now 944K. So it's starting to drain now. Only time will tell if it'll work. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I did, uh, what was that Polygon one? The Farmer or something? The Farmhouse? Even though that dipped a lot, the Polygon on that went back to around 313 and it's been pretty stable. So there does seem to be a stabilization point for all these minor projects, assuming that they're legit. In a rug pull, and you know, they're the devs are somewhat active socially, you know, just to keep the community engaged, and of course, the occasional marketing, right? So that that's a, that's a good sign. So with that being said, let's see how uh, these guys did it. So right off the bat, I already like it because you know it's just straight up, uh, you know, crops farmer fork. So we know this is a proven concept. Okay. Right, can we make this a little bigger? Yeah, we could make it a little bigger. All right, so it's not as so it's not nearly as big as Crops Farmer BUSD, of course, but I mean this is an all right contract size. Okay, so you're earning 10% a day. Uh, I want to see is there a withdrawal tax of any kind? Not the feedback tax, but like a normal dev tax. Okay, I don't see that. All right, so there's a 3% compounding bonus. Uh, we don't care about the affiliate reward. There's a 24... Okay, so there's a 24-hour timer on both compounding and withdrawing. So you can only do this once a day, so keep that in mind. Uh, reward cutoff is still two days, and you have to multiply... You have to compound 10 times. So you literally have to compound for 10 days before you can withdraw on day 11, right? So, yeah, and of course, there's an 80% tax if you're like, yeah, F this. So, uh, yeah, that's not going to work. And what's interesting is they added an anti-YouTube draining. So, apparently, this uh, seems to be a thing. Um, okay, sure. And this is obviously anti-dumping. All right, so you have to pre-approve the amount of Binance dollar you want to deposit for every transaction for safety reasons, so they kept that, of course. Okay, and there is a compounding bonus, which, did they say that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they said it up here, but they should have said the max up there, too, so it'll attract more capital, but, all right. So that's, like, the only minor gripe I have, because uh, this is actually important to say the max compounding bonus up here as well. So you get a growing 3% every time you compound that goes up to 60%. So, so if you compound constantly for 20 days, then you get the maximum 60%. I highly doubt, and of course it resets to zero the moment you withdraw. I highly doubt anyone's ever going to have that much patience to compound for 20 days straight and then pull out money on like... I mean, if you're compounding that much on day 20... You're definitely going to wait for the 48-hour timer. Like, that's what I would actually do. It's like, okay, I might as well go for broke because I'm not... You're basically only withdrawing every three weeks. That's exactly what it is. You're withdrawing every three weeks. So the anti-draining on this is actually really good. Like, it's very hard to drain the contract simply because of the way the timers work. Like, everything's very restrictive, which is good, right? Because when it comes to minor projects, restrictions are actually good. Right? I know liberals are going to love like gun control and, well, it's really more like gun seizures, but that's essentially the same thing. So it's kind of like the same concept here, right? You want to like take all the money and not give any of it back, right? And you want to be as restrictive as possible and just like have everything under 
under control with an iron fist, right? Like 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 Darth Vader, because everyone's been talking about the Obi Wan Kenobi series, but apparently Episode Three just released and uh, of the of the Obi Wan series, and apparently a lot of people are say it says it sucks after like an incredible start. So that's actually kind of interesting. All right. So anyway, oh, and I forgot to mention, this is Binance Dollar. So you're in stable coins, which is great because right now crypto is not exactly doing so hot. Like it, every time it looks like it's doing well, it immediately dumps. It's like, I mean, at this point, I think the Wall Street big central bankers and JP Morgan big banks are all manipulating crypto. Like we're, we're, like we're, we're just going to be stuck in this BS forever. All right. Basically, they have control of the entire cryptocurrency space, just like they have control of gold and silver. But unlike gold and silver, crypto actually does have use cases. And countries are adopting Bitcoin as like actual like, um, in fact, Chipotle, I actually tweeted this out. Chipotle just recently accepted crypto. Let me see if I can find it through my 11 gajillion tweets. Uh, yeah. And, Twitter is back to throttling everyone. You know, of course my shit's down. Okay. Oh my god. There's like... Where is my Chipotle tweet? I know I retweeted that. Oh. Okay, I skipped right over. Yeah, Chipotle now accepts Bitcoin. So, people are using crypto, specifically Bitcoin, but they'll eventually accept other crypto. So... You know, there will be natural pressure. Plus, you know, left-wing people tend to like crypto. You know, only... And nobody really like... And they don't really tend to buy at all gold and silver, right? Which makes sense because they're precious metals. As much as I personally like them, they're absolutely horrible for making money. And they don't really seem to do much during an actual market crash anyway. Like, it goes up in value a little bit when everything else goes down. So it's like... I'd rather hold cash at that point. You know, believe it or not, I don't have to deal with maintenance. I don't have to worry about getting robbed and it lives on the internet. So, I mean, it's just digits on the screen anyway. All right. So anyway, I want to keep this video short. I want to keep the next uh, video short as well, which is the uh, Royal Pay, right? Which is a, looks like a Web3 type of project. It could be a Lock Pay type of project. I mean, we'll find out. I just know that uh, Yada Crypto and Murdoch DeFi are both covering it. Or maybe someone else was covering it too. But I'm pretty sure it was those two. But yeah, Gold Grinder 2.0 looks very good, very solid. Uh, if I did not want to, I mean, I already, I'm already invested in BUSD Crops Farmer and BUSD Yield Farmer. Because for me, I want to look for the next Yield Farmer, which means I'm just going to wait for Crops Farmer to come out with the next project and then add that to the playlist. Uh, but with that being said, this looks really good. You know, I, I would have no problem telling people, yeah, this looks pretty good, you know. Um, the contract balance is a little low, so you can't put that much money into this, but, oh, and also you need the patience of a saint to work this project, because I cannot wait 10 days before I can pull out any profit. That's just like, that's like 10 years in cryptocurrency space, right? And if I want to take advantage and play maximum greedy, I cannot wait 22 days to profit. So it's, it's just too, it's just too much waiting. But the flip side is, this is going to be a very sustainable project, so, you know. Yeah, so it depends. If you're willing to be patient, yeah, you can check out Gold Grinder 2.0 because it's obvious that these guys definitely know what to do and have good graph. In fact, these graphics I didn't even comment this look really good. So they're obviously just trying to figure out what works and what doesn't. I like that. I like that, and I respect that a lot. So I really like both the project and really the devs too, right? Because what matters is the heart, right? If the person's an evil asshole, you know, they're just going to rug pull scam you and just throw up some shit coin project and then pull everyone's money, right? But, you know, we don't want that. We don't want that. But you can't prejudge anyone, so it's like, you know, you're rolling the dice, right? But here, you know, I, I wouldn't worry about rolling it. So anyway, I personally won't invest in this because I already am swamped and I already have enough BUSD miners. But, you know, if you're new, I mean, I guess you could check out Gold Grinder for sure. I'll see you next video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share this video, of course. And thank you again to all the, all the, old, all the old and new people watching this channel. And, of course, I rely on you to spread the word around so we can keep growing. 
And um, yeah, I'm actually starting to think I do want to actually start branching out. So I'll still cover crypto projects, but I'm thinking maybe I want to start covering stocks. So, you know, I'm, I got to try to figure out a format for that. And I have to cover a specific stock because I think people actually search like if you're if you're interested in Microsoft, you're not going to type in stocks. What are they doing today? You're going to type in what is Microsoft doing today? So I need to try to figure out a way to, you know, pivot towards that. And then we'll have both stock traders and crypto people in this channel and in this community. Especially because the views and subscribe counts are actually down. Dow King, uh, EMA Crypto. Uh, I haven't heard anything from Renzo in like a million years. He's still in the Elite Discord. Yeah, I mean, everyone's shit is down because... Obviously, crypto's down. I've seen this for, like, many years, right? Because I've been doing these stupid YouTube videos uh, for, like, five years now across two channels, right? I'm concentrating specifically on this channel. So it's like I've seen it's the exact same thing. So it's like, all right, I'm getting sick and tired of this, all right? I mean, like, it's like I like doing content, but it's, it's pointless if, like, very few people watch this. In fact, I'm getting deja vu right now. I know I, I complain about this exact same thing. Uh, in a previous video, all right, but for some reason it's deja vu, but I know I did I did talk about it So, you know, so yeah, I got we got to do something about it. I got to do something about it So, you know, I'll, I'll look into it. But yeah, leave a comment, you know, would you like to see some stock? Analysis stuff right my style because in that case then I don't have to worry about it. I could really say what I want to say because it's like It's not like I'm moving anything All right, well actually no, that's not gonna work because then people get pissed off and then report me to the SEC, and then I get a warning. For, yeah, okay, so, yeah. So, <laughs> all right, so I still can't. Why can't I have free speech? Why can't I just say what I really want to say? And that just goes to show that free speech is just bullshit, because, like, you, you really don't have it, right? You, you just don't have it. But what are you going to do? I'll say next video. I don't want to ramble too long. And, hey, 12-minute video.